Hello everybody, and today, we're gonna be trying out these new trial chambers, but first, let's go get ourselves the, to cop the, the villager thing to find it. Now that we got one, we can just start, start the trades, so we're gonna need paper, which is the pain because we only have 12 pieces of sugar cane. Well, if we start this, if we can get it to, to connect to it, hopefully we can. Uh, yeah, we just had to place it right there. We need about 24 pieces. So I'm going to go out and plant some. And then go on a little journey to find some more. As you see right here, we ended up finding like 6 pieces of sugar cane. Not much. There wasn't really any around us. But later I did find some at our actual base. We had a, we had a line growing right there giving us about 20-25. Which let us go about like half a level. Now that we have the trade, we can, we just need about nine more emeralds, which I just chopped down some trees to get these. Not, not much, anything new. Same thing we, we were doing the last hundred days. Just chopping down trees, trading them for emeralds. And that's about it. Just, we have a little less mods on this one because the 1.21 update isn't exactly updated fully. But we got a topography table. And we got our trial map, then we went straight over there. back and we fell right into it spawning right by these chests which end up having nothing in them it's kind of a bug but we get our first trials a key and we find ourselves um uh, this which is kind of useless and it's the only loot from that we find so we just keep exploring we find the bogged which is going to be a pain later on but mostly we're going to be scoping out this place, looking for anything useful. So I figured out that the trial ch vaults, they do not reset. So I was thinking about doing like how much times does it take for me to get the mace. But yeah, that's not very possible. So we're just going to be exploring this for this episode and seeing what all we can get. Um, I'm going to go set a base in a random corner of this, put some chests right here. And we're just going to put all the things we get in the upper chest. And hopefully we come out on top. One tricky thing is we're going to need to find a way to get some ominous keys to open the ominous chests. And once we get all of those, we can just get through with this. We got our first key, which we use to open here, getting ourselves some arrows, a crossbow, and just a basic loop. Nothing special. But with this... We just go back here, and we try to bunker down and get even more keys than that. The keys right now, they're they're kind of a modity. We did. I cleared out that room, got three more keys. I went over to his chest, tried to open it. I don't know what, just, then I opened it. Again, we just got, we got, just got the basic stuff, nothing special. We did get a Sharpness 5 book, which is... One of the better stuffs we got recently. And this honey bottle, which is good. We forgot to bring any food, so we just instantly took that. I'm going in mostly blind, so I might miss a couple rooms. I saw a room through like a copper grate, which is something useful we can do. The worst things we, we went against here are just these uh, bogs. Just cause how much they poison us. But we get even more keys. Then we just start looking around for some. Uh, trial chambers. Not. Tr you know what I'm talking about. 
this is an ominous fault I was I just learned about and apparently you need an ominous key I'm not sure what type of stuff it gives you I'm guessing that's where you get the mace head so near the end of this hopefully we should be able to get that we did get enough our first ominous bottle which could be useful if you wanted to do like a raid it did make raid farms kind of worse but we, we haven't been going into that quite yet so we actually just throw all our stuff we got in here so we don't lose it and it just helps us envision this now we go straight through the main chamber going against the bogs again i've realized if the the stuff around it shows what it spawns so i was looking for these but they ended up just walking around but first we found these i remember that the pots could have stuff in them so we went through and just started destroying them all getting emeralds irons and mostly diamonds not much it could be useful later but right now it's just a little bit of junk we almost die around here that's where the over there is the crates then we just start doing this start getting more stuff just it's mostly just bogs for right now for some reason as you see right here this we ended up dying which was a pain but we ended up getting that back and later on that's gonna be a recurring thing again this I was confused with the vaults so I wasn't exactly sure because I I just ended up doing stuff doing research about this later and I figured that out so I so we're gonna have to go to those get some ominous vaults soon but that'll be later on we found this another vault giving us some diamonds honey and and uh the ominous bottle but at this point we actually ended up dying and losing all our stuff so now we're stuck in the ominous chambers with just swords a stone sword and just this stuff we found so first we go through this area trying to get some the vaults trying to see if anything spawned if we weren't near it which didn't seem to happen but we ended up getting some of that and soon we have to find our way to get out of here because all we have is this water bucket we got from that fountain now we have to go take out this room that we're in right now now that we got some of that let's actually take care of this thing with our wooden sword and crossbow first we went straight for the dust husks in the corner but it, it, it was kind of useful we ended up doing kind of it but one one problem is after we're done with this we're gonna have to find a way to get back because all i have is a water bucket i probably just do that off camera and we never got any <clears throat> ominous keys we just got in get, ended up getting more keys and even more keys but it's it's a pain and we're gonna have to get all our stuff back i'm kind of raspy right now you can probably tell but it just doesn't really mean it is a pain but it is, who knows one thing one thing I did face is the breeze. We can't hit them with the arrows, and that's the only weapon we have. So mostly, I had to fight them with my hands, which is a pain. They have a lot of health, which is a reason why this took so long. It did help me get better with actually fighting them, but we just we ended up going past it. I ended up speeding this up just to get past it quicker. Well, while we just get everything, we get a, we get the, that bottle, and this is the finally the end of it where we start fighting this, which is a, again a pain, and this took probably around a couple minutes. Then we had to do it three more times just to get another trial key, which we can't use right now. So we, we just keep doing this, and later. In this episode, we're gonna we're gonna end up going back 
to the base, get our stuff back, and we have one more thing we have to do in this video. I'm not going to tell you quite yet, but it's definitely a positive thing that we're going to have. I was about to leave, but then I found this new error right above us in the entrance. It, it actually had a loot. You can see here, we, we had a, got a compass, which is technically something. And that's more than what we got recently. And then we just start tiring up with a water bucket. Just trying to find what's up here. It's a lot bigger than what we had originally. Only having three rooms. But this, we can see we got a stone pickaxe. Which is a big part of what, of what we needed. We just needed something to break blocks. And that is our something. Again, we just go through breaking all the pots. Just trying to get any materials we can. Which was useful. We found a wooden axe. Which I just took for, I can use it to make the bulbs light bigger, or to use it to kill stuff, which is better than our hands. Anything's better than our hands. We found this area at the bottom. It just, ha it had nothing in it for some reason. It was just pretty useless, but well, at least we found it. Now we, we just keep running through, seeing what's all around here. Not much in this room. It's just a big empty area. We're still doing most of the stuff we were doing earlier, but this this actually has a lot more stuff. So uh, again, we we run into an inventory problem finally. Usually it was just really empty because all we had was trial keys and bones. So now it's weird that it's different, but these chests actually have something we got an armor trim which is i think the second one we got in this world and we got feather falling forward which was real useful we had to get rid of our compass so sad i don't know how i'm gonna get past that but we're gonna try we we got rid of some of those crossbows we got earlier with one they're really useless honestly they're they both only have like piercing two, which is not very good. But we uh, here we actually got ender pearls and scaffolding. This scaffolding we use will be useful if we need to climb up somewhere and we lose our water. But that was just my plan for it. We got some wood, which would have been a lot useful like 30 minutes ago, but we got it. I'm looking around for. Ways to get up because these crates they waterlogged it. I did not see the ladder for a couple seconds, but we ended up getting there. We found another room over here climbing up. I, yeah, it was just another chest. This one actually having some diamonds and another crossbow that we just didn't take, it wasn't very good. So we just keep going down and we actually have stuff to explore. Yeah, I was about to go home, but then I realized this stuff was above me. Which, I'm not sure how I missed this. I guess I wasn't being very observant. But I tried being more observant by just walking around. Trying to trying to see if there's any, like, I thought that was snow we could break. But it wasn't. We, I tried to give one more direction, because a little bit I was just running in circles. But later we found some more vaults giving us just some junk, honestly. But I'll just take anything by now. We've ran we went through a lot of pots. But the pots the pots they do nothing. You can you can put stuff in them now. That's something I learned earlier. But this is the main area we found. We ended up getting a diamond sword just in case if we saw anything up there, which we did. So then we just made our way st straight up, finding some bogs, which again are the worst ones. Everything in here has to make an effect. We just keep finding them, keep dying, not dying, 
we almost die. We just eat the uh, eat the honey. The bread was actually useful. We could use it. And that's more to say about anything else. There's multiple layers in this one, so we we just have to go slowly, like usual. And anything but these bogs would have been better. These that's the one reason I actually died, is because these bogs, the poison. Then the others, it just all starts to pile up. But we get past that easily. And we try to make our way up. And we enter a big roadblock. This roadblock being that I didn't get on camera. But these bogs up here actually ended up killing me. And we got sent right back to that bed place. And... Now we don't have a way to get back up, so we're going to have to find a resourceful way up. That's a pain. I'm going to have to do that on camera. And that's... We've run out of stuff in this trial. We explored the whole thing. But we did not come out on... So we just died. Now we're stuck right here. Back in a painful situation. So... Now... We've been through most of this. I've looked around. There's not really anything left. So. This is about the end of the video. Let's see how much days this lasted. This was this lasted 11 days. So. If you like this. Like and subscribe. And watch the 100 days video. To see how we got in the situation.